A pleasant day, STEM learners. This is again Sir Peter, your pre-calculus teacher. For today's discussion, we are now on week number two, circular functions. And the specific topic that we're going to discuss are the co-terminal angles. So at the end of this video lesson, you should be able to illustrate angles in standard position and the co-terminal angles. So here are the topics that we will be discussing. So we have co-terminal angles, circular functions, and unit circle, locating circular functions on the partition plane, and getting the exact value of the circular functions. But we will talk first on the first topic. Are you ready? So let's have co-terminal angles. So co-terminal angles are angles that are both in standard position and have the same terminal side. Always remember that when we pertain to angles in standard position, they must be on a unit circle and it must be plotted on the partition plane. The initial side must be the positive x axis. So notice that all of the reflected angles here are what we call angles in standard position. So the blue rotation is 405 degrees. So notice that it exceeds the entire complete revolution, which is 360 degrees. And how many is the exceeding? So the exceeding value will be a 45 degree angle. This 45 degree angle is what we call the positive co-terminal angle between zero degrees and 360 degrees. So again, the first co-terminal angle of 405 degrees is the 45 degree angle, which should be between zero and 360 degrees. The angle, which is 405 degrees, will also have another co-terminal angle, and that is the negative co-terminal angle. Now, how do we determine the negative co-terminal angle? By rotating here to there, sharing a common terminal side. This angle is a negative angle that is between negative 360 degrees to zero degrees. So this is the rotation. So what are co-terminals again? The co-terminal angle share a common terminal side. So every angle that exceeds 360 degrees or negative 360 degrees could have two possible co-terminal angles. And the first one will be a positive co-terminal angle between zero degrees and 360 degrees and a negative co-terminal angle, which is between negative 360 degrees to zero degrees. In the same way, every region measure has also an equivalent, two equivalent co-terminal angles, which are also should be expressed in region measure. But um, with that case, the range must be for a positive um, co-terminal angle, it must be between zero regions to two pi regions. And for a negative co-terminal angle, it must be expressed in negative two pi regions to zero regions. So in here, the rotation is positive, so it will be in a counterclockwise direction. And for the negative terminal, the rotation should be in a clockwise direction because that is a negative region measure. Look at this one. The given angle is a 30 degree angle. Since it does not exceed the 360 degree angle, but 
there is a corresponding negative terminal angle by subtracting 360 degrees. So 30 minus 360 degrees will get the, coterm, the negative coterminal angle, which is negative 330 degrees. Notice that the 30 degree angle and the negative 330 degree angle shares a common terminal side, which is this blue ray. But both of them are in standard position. Both of them have the same initial side also. Now let's have illustrative example. Find the angle coterminal of the following that has measures layer A between 0 to 360 degrees, meaning the positive coterminal angle, and layer B between negative 360 degrees to 0 degrees, which is the negative coterminal angle. And then later, we will also be converting unit of measures into region measure. Let's have layer A. Given angle is negative 380 degrees. So if we are going to illustrate that one using a Cartesian plane, this is how it, it would look like. So again, all angles in standard position must start from the initial side, which is the positive x-axis. Okay, so let's now form the rotation. So we have 90, I'm sorry. It's a negative angle, so we will move. It's 11, J. Okay. So this is negative 270, and this is negative 360 degrees. And then, how many is the excess? It is 20 degrees. So we just assume. So this is now the terminal side, okay? Which represents negative 380 degrees. Now, observe this one. So what do you think is the positive coterminal angle? And what do you think is the negative coterminal angle? So to answer that, here is the algebraic solution. So to answer letter A, the positive coterminal angle, we um, have negative 380 plus 360. That will be negative 20 degrees. And then we will add it again to 360 to get its positive coterminal angle. So the answer will be 340 degrees. Then we convert it into a region measure because in your modified assessment, you have to also convert it into region measure. So simply multiply it by pi over 180 and the simplified form will be 70, um, 17 pi over nine regions. So this is for letter A. Now we are looking for the negative coterminal angle. For letter B, simply add 360 degrees and what we will get negative 20 degrees. And this is now the angle that we are pertaining between negative 360 and zero degrees. So that is negative 20. Then we convert negative 20 degrees times pi over 180. So the simplified form will be negative um, pi over 9 regions. I know you know how to convert um, degree measures to region measures, so there will be no problem about that. Let's have the second illustrative example. 475 degrees. So we have 475 minus 360 degrees. So this will now be your positive coterminal angle. And converting 115 degrees multiplied by pi over 180 degrees, we will get 
23 pi over 36 regions. For the negative terminal angle, simply subtract 475 minus 360, so that is 115. And then we will subtract again 360 degrees, so that is negative 245 degrees. We convert now negative 245 degrees into its region measure. So the answer will be negative 49 pi over 36 regions. So let's have more practice using this unit circle. Suppose we have a given theta, which is 700. 50 degrees. So we will have multiple um, rotation. So first, from the initial side, the positive x axis. So this is 90 degrees, 180, 270, and then 360. One complete revolution. But it still doesn't reach 750 degrees. So we'll continue. So for a second complete revolution, we have now obtained 720 degrees because 360 plus 360 is 720. So the excess of 70, 750 eh, to with 720 is 30 degrees. So I assume that the terminal side is located on this part of the partition plate. So we assume now that the positive coterminal angle between um, 0 degrees and 360 degrees is 30 degrees. And of course, the negative coterminal angle now will be this one, this rotation, which is equivalent to negative 330 degrees. So just convert now 30 degrees into region measure and negative 330 degrees into its um, equivalent region measure. So angles now in a unit circle, as you observe, can exceed 360 degrees or negative 360 degrees. So you can always rotate, 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 and rotate as um, with the song of the pop singer um, Sarah Geronimo, ikot ikot lang. Okay, you just complete revolutions in the unit circle and you will be obtaining until you reach the angles between 0 to 360 and then reach also an angle between negative 360 degrees to zero degrees. So that is how easy to convert a region measure, um, I mean, to get the terminal angles of a given reference angle. So here are the references used in this presentation. Did you learn something? So for our next video lesson, we will talk about circular functions and the unit circle.